When you press the accelerator on a turbocharged car, there is a small gap between pressing it and the turbocharger building up boost and giving you the extra power you need. To be able to fix this, we need to know what the problem is. And what's happening is that when our throttle here is closed, there isn't much air coming into the cylinder, so there aren't many exhaust gases being produced. The two turbines, which are connected, can't be spun round at a high speed as there is nothing to push them in, so we can't suck in much air. So that means that when we open the throttle, the turbines will get back up to speed, suck in air, and force it through the cooling system into the cylinder. However, this takes time, and that time taken is called turbo lag. So how do we prevent it? Well, one way to do it is use a lighter turbocharger, as less energy from exhaust gases are needed to get the turbo spinning. Manufacturers can also use two smaller turbos for the same reason. We can also use a twin scroll turbo, which takes exhaust gases alternately from the cylinders, as cylinders all fire in sequence, which increases efficiency as the gases exit in irregular pulses from the different cylinders, and if only one scroll was used, they would collide and reduce the flow strength. Finally, you could do something non-mechanical, rather like Ayrton Senna, where you keep pressing the throttle so that there is always a good amount of gases throwing through the turbo, meaning that you won't have to wait for it to spool up when you exit a corner. This is why his driving style sounds like this. And that's all you need to know about turbo lag. You can find more videos and subscribe to the channel by clicking links on the screen. But now, all that's left to say is, thank you very much for watching, have a great rest of your day, and bye bye.